all right my people welcome back home to this channel well this another strong one reaching us still on the matter hmm on to this it says and i quote britain merged northern and then southern protectorate in 1914 to finance northern nigeria with southern resources this had been made clear by historian professor banji akintoye all right my people the news in details well, onto this, a prominent Nigerian historian, Professor Banji Akintoye, has claimed that British colonial masters amalgamated Nigeria in 1914, basically to use the wealth from the southern region to finance the northern region. The former leader of Ilan Omo Dua Worldwide, the umbrella apex body of the yoruba self-determination struggle made this known on wednesday during a global conference organized by yoruba nation youth which was attended by yoruba people living in nigeria and the diaspora the historian alleged that the amalgamation was not done for the benefit of the people of nigeria but for business reasons by the british colonial rulers he said, and I quote, those ruling northern protectorates then had a serious problem of finance because the region did not have money to pay the white men working there. Whereas in the south, especially in Lagos and in Yoruba land, we produce a lot of wealth that could pay all the workers and then still have some remaining and then this was why the british thought that to solve the shortfall that was happening in the north which was making the administrator there to go back to england to source for money there was a need for amalgamation after all the southern part had money the north did not have money let's match them to balance the finances well it was not a territorial amalgamation at all it was a business administrative arrangement between the people the white people ruling the north and then the white people ruling the south no yoruba people signed an amalgamation later in 1914 even Allah for your was only invited to witness the celebration and the same for the sultan of sokoto all right and then this is exactly what is actually reaching us on to this one and then as it stands majority of people are just reacting well the truth of the matter is that the yoruba people have actually made up their minds on this one as far as the you know the nation the hardship is concerned the yoruba people have seen it all that the best thing for us is to go our separate ways and then according to professor banji akintoye with what he just said a lot of people are reacting in different forms all right meanwhile according to allow she become tunde he made it clear here that our refusal to know the truth about the false amalgamation amend the wrongdoing and then forge ahead with restructuring is the bane of our progress however it is too late in the day blaming britain for anything but ourselves for still using the mindset of toddler to administer a nation with great potential well that was a, a strong one coming from allow she become tunde that we don't need to be using the mind of you no know, a toddler to rule this nation it's a great nation well i think that has been taken we're replying to that hmm it's coming from umar musa i say well to allow she become tunde no i don't support restructuring well i support this integration let us go our separate ways just like what everybody has been talking about yes so let us go our separate way so that everybody will you know be able to take care of its own region of 
of his own country of his own people so that peace will reign with what is going on in the country my brother my sister is nothing to write home about and then we could all see what had been happening look at what just happened in benway i was telling some people not quite long about 17 people were quiet you can imagine how long are we going to continue like this who are these set of people that are doing this who are they where are they from what do they want that's exactly what it is that's exactly what the question should be and then what should be the solution everybody is coming out on their own space to let us understand that we need to go our separate ways to for peace to reign all right i think that i've been taken we're coming from igwe chizomo ezemba says well hmm Reacting to what Ola Oshibikon said, he said, well, what do you expect in a situation where one is gaining from another? Do you think he will agree to let go that another one? And then this uh, question, what's there? This statement uh, exactly actually made me to remember the part where, you know, most of some of these uh, northerners, they don't want you to go. It's just like a case of you wanting to, you know, eat your cake and have it. They don't want you to go they don't want the people to go yet they are still no no stressing the people as in you don't want them to go you are buying them and you still want them to remain with you so of what use is that that's exactly what it is onto this one well our Utman made it clear that since 1914 that the britain merged the nation there is there was no peace why not separate us to allow us to develop our region than blaming each other for our shortcomings i think the separation is the only solution i think everybody's actually saying the same thing right now the separation is actually the only solution well coming from zamani it was northern resources grand cutting etc money well that was used to build up the oil rig refineries and then all the equipment used in generating and then drilling of the oil south as nothing before 1957 not was the one feeding south and then not is everything that south is today you guys ain't going nowhere we must continue to live together as one nigeria whether you like it or not you can imagine this is another man speaking right now I know I just talked about that not quite a long ago. These uh, northerners, they are just like full of themselves. You can imagine. Oh, you want the people to stay together with you. And yet, you are not giving them rest of mind. Then what kind of togetherness is that? Just like what Chief Sunday Bobo had been talking about. We are not sending you people away from our no, our land. No, we don't do that. I think your, the Yoruba people are you know, are the set of people that are meant to accommodate. They show love and then they, they love people around them. That's exactly what the Yoruba people stand for. And the assistance. She suddenly woke came out and he made it clear. We are not saying you people should leave home. But the problem is that you kidnapping us taking ransom from us and they're doing all sort of no rigorous things to us that's what we don't want and if you people actually want to be with us then come out let us stay together in the city let's be seeing each other in the morning i see you i greet you good morning sir you greet me good morning sir no a car us i car us i know things will go on smoothly instead of you remaining in that forest if that is what you want then you just have to leave because our people are not safe in the farm anymore you can imagine that's exactly what it is but you can imagine what this northern has said coming his name is ajasu zamani he made it clear that either the people like it or not we must stay together what is that well my brother my sister this is exactly what we're actually talking about i know a lot of people will still be like hmm, are you sure hmm, we actually know what we are doing are you sure we are still you no know, getting it if we cannot cooperate Chief Sunday Bo made it clear that the reason why the egos will not will never go hungry. That the reason why they will never go hungry because they they cooperate. Yes, they cooperate with uh, Nam the Kano. 
but in yoruba land the reverse is always the case when you tell them do this they will tell you oh god who are you to control me and all that at the end of it all things are getting spoiled on a very good day that's exactly the difference it's only the good lord that will actually help us on this one well still on the matter my people yoruba nation are going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are talking about what more can we say me well let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless